Now I would like to call on the stage Valerie and Emil, and Emil as well. Emil, Hello. the guy which before uh, did the, the Facebook part, he also did some YouTube. He has some experience with that as well, some bad, some good. <laughs> he just uh, uh, shared with me that he spent 2,500 euros in Google <laughs> for three clicks. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that's a big performance of mine of losing uh, 2,500 in only three minutes. Nothing but is lost. He can <laughs> confirm that Google sometimes loves to overspend and send only like two, three clicks. So that's why he said in the presentation to be very careful with the budget because Google can actually spend a lot. Yeah. Like because a lot. Because Google, in the most of the case, what I see is... Uh, like, also like uh, if Google say you like put the daily budget, but Google don't think about a daily budget. Google think about like if you put 100 euro, Google say okay in the in the end, in the end of the month I have to spend uh, 3,000 euro, and and how I'm spending this 3,000 3, euro is mm, is not is not your worry, no. And it's like uh, the first day I can spend 200 euro, in the next day I can spend like 100 euro, in the next coming days I can spend only five euro, and it's something crazy. And how you can control control it? Start with a very lower budget in the beginning. For that, this is my personal tips. Uh, mm, what I want sh what I want to share you because in the beginning I lose a lot of money. Like uh, also I pay for conversion like two two hundred euro, one hundred fifty euro per conversion in the beginning, <laughs> and it's crazy. Okay, let's start with questions. Do we have any questions for Saib? Oh, there we have a question. Uh, same, same, same rules of the game. If you, ha if you have questions in Italian, just ask the, f the microphone and we will translate. Yeah. Uh, I know also Italian, guys. <laughs> he knows also Italian. Thank you for the presentation, Sahib. Uh, I have two questions, actually, because I'm, I'm now by no means expert in Google. I spend more of my Thank money on uh, Meta. And the Google team, I have this constant battle with the Google team where I say, like, hey, guys, we're scaling Meta. We need you to keep up with scaling. Just push, push, push. And they're like always, hey, if we double the budget, Google performance will lag behind, we will hurt our performance. And when we're getting there, we're hitting offers, we just want to scale. So my question is like, how can we approach the scaling on Google versus Meta? Because Meta is easy, I guess. I know, I <laughs> so know. So the question is, how can we scale on Google effectively or efficiently? <laughs> In the beginning, let's start to talk about why. Uh, because Facebook is on profile base and uh, we know Meta have uh, like Meta have a very, Easy. very Google, uh, very good algo, no? And Facebook and Google is uh, cookie based, and for that is take in the beginning. For that is take a, taking a time. For uh, for that I told you like uh, when you're increasing the budget, uh, when you when when you're starting with the optimized targeting, on start like give to Google like three four days. I know it's something crazy to hear in the effort word, but give three four days. Uh, to analyze, to understand to Google, okay, this is my audience, uh, this is, that is my actual cost per conversion. What I want to give you, like if your cost per conversion is not good, uh, like if you try to scale up, uh, what, I can give, what I can share with you in the beginning is that, like try to, try to understand what is your uh, daily budget, like uh, what is your daily budget, what you can spend without uh, losing the money, without, uh, where you can have a very good ROI, you know? When you keep this, uh, keep this, keep this same budget for next uh, next week, and see how is changing a little, uh, how is changing uh, the cost per conversion. And if you see your cost per conversion in decreasing a little bit because you give more time to the Google algo to analyze it to understand your audience, um, here you, after one week you can start to scale a little bit, but not more. Like uh, if you put 100, 100 euro budget. Like, uh, you understand, okay, my, my campaign performed well with a 100 budget, but if I, if I try to scale more, I can't. Okay, don't push it right now. Give the time to Google, because it, in the most of the cases, it's not only about the Google, it's also about all the product, because, yeah. guys, we have uh, some limit, uh, limited, uh, limited research, you know? Yeah. For that, what I, what I want to say, give one week uh, to the Google algo to understand, to understand what is the your cost per conversion after that try to increase like 20 percent 10 percent i know i know is uh, boring because you come from f facebook and you want to push it also i want to push it but it's impossible guys in the beginning if you have the same stuff 
Okay, and is it healthy to say that if we plan the budget beforehand, like week over week, let's say first week we want to spend 2K, second week 4K, the next week 8K, if we double it every week, does is that a healthy perspective of scaling? Uh, double, mm, I'm not, not, a big not, I'm not a big fan of the double, doubling the budget on uh, Google Ads. Only in the beginning, yeah, it's good, because when you have like uh, 30 euro, after that try to put 50 euro, 100 euro, 150 euro, 200 euro, here you can double the budget. Mm. But after 300 euro, 400 euro, the w for me, the very personal tips is try to increase the budget, what I say before also in the presentation. Yeah. Uh, like for 20%, 30% every uh, every day, not also every hour. Okay, and another follow-up question is like, you mentioned in the beginning that you always want to turn off the expanded audience or detail. Uh, audience. Yeah, optimized targeting. Optimized targeting, so yeah. do you do that with every campaign? Because most of the accounts for us have data, so do we have to turn that off or we keep it on and launch uh, campaigns? If I start with the audience, yes, because uh, I want to I, I allow I want to give the chance to this audience to perform to understand if this audience working for me or not. If I if I understand is not working for me, try to after after one week two weeks uh, try to under, uh, try to switch on uh, the optimized targeting and see how it's going. But why we are going why we are going to put inside the audience because we want to target the specific audience. Uh, we want to keep the qualified traffic with a very lower cost per conversions, not like a Facebook or, uh, meta where you can launch the broad campaign and it's, co it's converting, not like that. Before, before, because meta is profile based and Google is cookie based and yeah. it's taking a time, guys. Thank you. Yeah. I also have many questions. Uh. <laughs> yeah. M more about um, YouTube. Okay. Like the interest scaling per day. Okay. If you raise budget, if you used to raise budget, let's say from 1K to 20K in a day? It depends on uh, where, uh, where, in the Europe or in the USA? I never done in Europe so aggressively, but in US. In the US. In the US, uh, if, uh, if your cost per conversion right now like, is good, uh, don't try to uh, increase like heavily the budget without the target CPA. Try to increase the budget only with the target CPA because yeah. target CPA is covering uh, your uh, um, hurting from uh, overspending, okay? Yeah, I, I would like to go like deeper once we sit. Yeah. Um, you can sit if you want. Oh, yes. I am oh, not. Well, we can sit. We <laughs> so we start. Um, um, so basically, we are doing a <coughs> for some stuff, cash and delivery, mm -hmm. but uh, <coughs> we are not spending a lot in mm -hmm. Google. <coughs> Where we are spending, we are spending a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's uh, YouTube ads mm -hmm. on uh, US. Okay. With the BSL. Okay. Uh, like, if you have experience to share about the BSL uh, US or like different CPA from Italy. Uh, yes, I have an experience with that. Uh, that what I w what I want to say on that is uh, everything in the USA is everything is not about the strategies. Everything is the creatives, guys. Okay. The creative in uh, the USA is very important because it's like your your competitor. You have a lot of competitors, no? Yeah, yeah. And you are bidding on the same audience, <laughs> and like uh, if you're with the Google algorithm, you can't do like uh, nothing. What you can do? Try to work on uh, on the creative. Try to understand what is the creative working for you. Try to to change li like five uh, the first five seconds, mm -hmm. uh, the beginning part. Try to understand what is com uh, like how ma how much uh, how many percentage of the people are watching only the 25 percent, 50 percent, 65, uh, 75 percent. Okay, no? okay, so so basically, <coughs> what are the first metrics? that you look like in, in the campaigns? In, uh, on, uh, on the YouTube campaign? Uh, Google and then YouTube uh, campaign. No, in the beginning, guys, I, I try to see if this product is working and what I go, go to see. The, if uh, I'm converting in the first things, okay. and what is my cost per conversion if I'm converting, and uh, if I'm converting, like in, I'm a break even with my payout, I try, try to work uh, on the creatives, guys. I try to work uh, on the creatives because uh, if I'm break even, I understand, okay, this, uh, this product is working, but I need to work. Like in the, some cases, so we, decrease the, we decrease, decrease the cost per conversions, we decrease the CPA by 50% working only 
on um, only on the creative guys, and sure. it's amazing. A have you seen some pa some pattern in the creatives on the Google, uh, on uh, on YouTube, Google, and then uh, ba on the banners? Yeah. Very simple, guys. So like, uh, it's not working uh, the stuff like uh, very crazy stuff or something new. Like, very simple stuff. Like, uh, some in some cases. But, but like uh, more, let's say, well designed visual or like more, you know, like in Facebook, if you use the super brand, that doesn't no. work. You need to use, you know, amateur picture. We are doing affiliate, guys. We are not doing branding, no? So in Google, like, you also prefer this kind of content yes, than yes. Uh, the nice yes, banner, yes. okay? Yeah, because in the most of the, uh, if you analyze your audience on the cash and delivery, who are? They are the, uh, the old people, like old people, like the people who yeah. have more than uh, 45 years old, uh, and of course, they don't know about the branding and this stuff, no? Uh, for that, for me, it's very important to understand my audience, and after that, I create the, uh, create the creative uh, based on, on this audience. For that, I prefer to put very simple stuff, but what is capturing the attention of the people, okay? Because when they are scrolling YouTube or Gmail on the Discover part, they can like, uh, okay, ooh, amazing this product. Like uh, something, uh, something like also okay. horrible to see, <laughs> but they catch the attention, okay? And in uh, YouTube, you have a different uh, suggestion? On the YouTube, uh, in the, in the Vita Cash and Delivery, my suggestion is uh, take what is working on, on uh, of course, my, this is my personal stuff. Uh, take the, what is working on uh, on Meta and uh, TikTok and upload it on YouTube. And after shorts. that, yes, YouTube Shorts. And after that, try to understand what is. Uh, uh, after that, try to understand if this is converting. Okay, if it's converting, try to work on the first five minutes, uh, uh, five seconds on uh, on these creatives. <coughs> For example, in VSL, we created the uh, like side team mm -hmm. that is focused only in VSL. Uh, so in the beginning, we were really struggling <laughs> a lot mm. because uh, we started and let's say for 10 days, 15 days, mm -hmm. we didn't see any conversions. So, so we thought that you know we weren't able to or maybe we didn't set something really well in the beginning. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, we start usually with target CPA Okay. Never maximize conversion. Okay, on the YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube. Yes, that's mm -hmm. also what I suggest also to, to start with yes, the target CPA. Yes, uh, but we start also with target CPA also in the new ad account. So, for example, you suggested when you have data, yeah, yeah. then you go to target CPA because the ad account will say learn, mm -hmm. you know, the audience. Also with the new ad account because uh, um, what we found is uh, if we um, put the target CPA, mm. um, let's say, higher, like too much high, mm -hmm. then it's very difficult bring Ooh. it like lower, at, at least in US. Yes, so yes. we started and um, what happened? Sometimes it's limited from the budget. Sometimes maybe the creative is a little bit uh, aggressive. So we just replace the video mm -hmm. with uh, something super safe. We s start to spend okay, and yeah. we duplicate the campaigns and then we replace again the video and uh, continue. Okay. And for, let's say, also when we don't have conversion, mm -hmm. we let it run. Mm -hmm. And what made the difference for us, it was like change the three creatives per day. Like three creatives every per day. day okay. we, we keep the, the best one of the previous day okay. and we create two variants of that one okay. every day. Mm -hmm. Starting to do like this, we started to have the uh, conversion. Okay. The I tell you uh, where where we are struggling now. So maybe y you can help me. Mm -hmm. um, so we can arrive to spend five k, six k per day. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes there is the suggested uh, budget. Limited by budget. Y yes, implemented. Or suggested or limited by budget with the no, red no, color. No, no, suggested. So okay. for example, sometimes say the, put thirty uh, k, forty k, fifty k. But honestly, w we didn't do it, okay, not okay. yet, because uh, we are not mastering, we're still not mastering the, the okay. traffic source. Um, at least we did last year, but uh, went really bad. So when we start, let's say, to go close to, let's say we go from 1K mm -hmm. to 5K mm -hmm. in a day. So we see that 
the rise sometimes like it became zero suddenly. So we go back to 1K, okay. and then the rye, it's again stable. Mm -hmm. But I know some guys that they're doing intrascaling, like from 1K to 5K to 25 to 50, 100K per day, like in a day. Mm -hmm. But on a whistle? Yes, time? BSL. I'm talking only about BSL on YouTube. OK, OK, OK. Yes. So mm, why it's not happening to me? <laughs> and you say, <laughs> you say stru you start with the target CPA, no? On the new account. We always start with the target CPA. Okay. Let's say for 15 days, mm. you're not going to be profitable. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. need just to look the data, try different scripts, yeah, and yeah. Uh, every day uh, doing different variants. Yeah. And, and it's profitable. Like, I mean, good. But at some point, you want to scale. Mm -hmm. on, uh, on YouTube, what I s also like on the other campaigns, what I see, if you see the ban banner like uh, limited by budget with the yellow color, like uh, suggestion, uh, in the most of the cases, it's not working. But if when you see the red type of the banners, the 60-70% 70 of the case is working. And this is the difference. And what is meaning the yellow color? It's meaning like... Uh, uh, Google don't have enough data. Google try to spend your money because Google want your money. But Google don't have enough data to suggest you, to give you the exact uh, conversions, so exact cost per conversions. For that, Google suggests. You know? uh, and what I see is on my campaigns, personally, not happen on, on, uh, the, target, on the target CPA, but it's happening mostly with the, when you start with, uh, with, when you are uh, scaling only with the maximized conversions. Uh, and Google automatically, after like a few, few days, put your campaign suggested limited by budget in the, uh, in the next coming dates. No? But I don't see on YouTube, uh, if you started with the target CPA, I never see the, the banners with the uh, yellow color. In the, and that I want to say. OK, OK. But uh, what I want to say is also, uh, also another stuff. Like uh, uh, before that, you was talking about, I remember, for the f about the Facebook mastermind. No? Uh, you say, like, don't duplicate the campaign, don't duplicate the campaign. What I can suggest on Google, try, m try to put a like, little bit m more m little budget, uh, but try to duplicate uh, with the three, four campaigns, five campaigns with the same creatives, uh, because Google is working like a meta. Um, okay. It's not like a too much different, no? Because Google have the s similar programmer like a meta, no? And for that, I suggest uh, to duplicate uh, three, four times uh, and try to see which campaign is converting, because Google picking the right slots for you uh, in the big ocean, no? Okay. For that, I, this is my suggestion. OK, maybe later I will show you some of the counts, so maybe okay, you yeah. can. Uh, yeah. What do you think? So um, uh, the guy in the room asked if uh, it's OK to just double, triple the budget. Mm. I would uh, add that it's a pure uh, suicide if you do that. And uh, what uh, Saib is saying, I actually agree with him. It's a very good way to scale like uh, low budget campaigns, just duplicate them on, on YouTube especially. Yeah. Yeah. Because let's be clear, I'm running only YouTube. I'm not running any display at the moment. And I uh, wanted to ask you, Saib, what about the pixel? Do you use a last click model or a data driven? Sorry? When you create a Google Pixel, mm. what model are you using? The, the last click or data driven one? Uh, um, now I use only data driven. Like uh, yeah. uh, this is what I see because we are doing, we are going to track the same conversions on the different campaign. No? And what happened? In the most of the campaign, the same people see our ad on YouTube. After that, you see our ad on like uh, on some website, on uh, discovery part, on the Gmail part. And for that, uh, Google understands. Uh, can understand well how is working uh, your audience for that you can scale more in the future, okay? So uh, the reason I ask you this is because uh, I saw a lot of bad performance when uh, using the last click model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted right your expert opinion about this as well. Mm -hmm. So the audience can understand that it's best to, to go data driven for the pixel. Yeah, yeah. This is my suggestion. This is how I start to I start to, when I'm going to create the conversions, I start every time with the data driven, not with the last click. In the beginning, yeah, in like two years ago, three years ago, was different. But right now, Google Algo changed a lot. 
they are, they are becoming more AI based. Yeah, Even like a Facebook. Uh, <laughs> I think they are uh, way more advanced than Facebook. After after the uh, the Pixel learns, yeah. it's way more consistent than uh, than Facebook. Well, they have uh, I think uh, ten years more than Facebook yeah. of data. Actually, Meta ad system was created based on the Google yeah. one. Yeah. They they were the first. So. Yeah. Now only one different with this every every time what I say like why Google campaign take a lot of time also like they have a very powerful campaigns. Uh, it's because Facebook is profile based for that Facebook know everything about you and Google also Google know but it can't share with you everything you know for that is I call it is a cookie base for it for that is taking a time guys I I would disagree a little bit with you here I'm just thinking that Google just want more money and they just uh, fooling around I mean I have campaigns that are losing, are bleeding like real hard for 10 days straight, and in the 11 day, boom, like <laughs> huge profits. <laughs> oh you no, cannot tell me that it didn't learn in the first days, you know? It's, it's just Google just want more money from us. Also, but also like uh, when you're receiving, uh, that I, uh, for that I try, I, uh, try to understand, like I, mm, I go more de in deep to when I'm going to analyze the campaign. I try to understand uh, if uh, how how is the learning method, no? And how you can see, like, uh, go to the overview. After that, you can see uh, put like uh, conversions uh, and cost per conversions uh, and uh, you, the cost of your campaign. Try to put these three main data and also CPC, uh, these four datas. Try to see in the last seven days, last 14 days, how is going. There you can understand how if the Google algo fooling you or if the Google algo learning it. Because when you see something like uh, increasing, is meaning Google is learning well. And, and the other case, uh, like when uh, Google give you like uh, one day five conversions, ten conversions, and after that uh, only one conversion, two conversions per day in the next seven days, is meaning Google fooling you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> good, good, good expertise. So, uh, any questions for Saib or for me or Valerio? I, I don't have uh, as much experience as you guys. Like, I'm just trying to to a little bit scale now in US because uh, <coughs> I've been in um, different mastermind. Mm -hmm. mm. Also, like uh, last month in Cyprus, mm -hmm. I met different guys. Like one guy like was was celebrating like 9 million revenue in a month on BSL Crazy. spending like 6 million in one single month like 50% ROI <laughs> yeah like it was crazy it's crazy in the USA <laughs> uh, yes yes um so i asked like to him and to other guys mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh that's the point. There is never one single um, suggestion. I mean, no one gave you the same things mm -hmm. to do. But uh, like those guys will agree to raise the budget in the Saturday and Sunday. Raise mm -hmm. the budget. Okay. Raise the budget, mm -hmm. but like a lot. Mm -hmm. Like from like keep it like two, three k per day every day of the week mm -hmm. and then saturday sunday they can arrive to spend 70 100k 150k mm -hmm. in one day just raising the budget yeah doubling the budget and then in the sunday evening I put it back mm -hmm. to 3k okay, okay so basically they are surf scaling the budgets when like they a, see like good a meta. ROI. like a meta that, yeah, that, that's, that's why I'm asking to that, you guys. That, that could work, but you need to have the pixel trend with huge amount of data. If you do that on a smaller campaign, it will it will cause you to lose a lot of money. So yeah. th their pixel was very well trained. Otherwise, it's not possible to do that on on Google. Yeah, that's. It's point. not possible to do it uh, while doing profits. Yes, we like we had like a one hundred thirty percent try of one k two k per day, just putting in five k, we like we just lost money, and I couldn't explain like. Why? Yeah, so I'm running Swift Six, which are low paying offers, so I'm getting like one thousand, two thousand leads a day, mm 
-hmm. in, uh, in my YouTube campaigns. And only after one, two months of running, I can do what you just said earlier. Otherwise, you just need to either duplicate it with high budget, but uh, a lower target CPA in order to control the spend, or just duplicating like with uh, small amounts of budgets and let, let the pixel uh, choose the audience again. But like I said, those guys had like huge amount of data to be able yeah, to pull yeah. something like that. Like their account was strong. Yeah. And that is also what I notice on, uh, uh, on our accounts. Like if you're starting with a new accounts, uh, Mm, in the most case, of course, your cost per conversion are higher in the beginning. But uh, if you launch the same product in the beginning on the new account, your cost per, cost, cost per conversion will be more higher. But if you're launching the same campaign on the account where you have like uh, more than 100K, 200K spend, spending, uh, uh, there you are, like the cost per conversion are crazy, like l is lower. Yeah, yeah. And everything is, uh, Google is everything is about the data, no? Mm, for that, I see. I say Google a little bit. How is also Amy say? No, Google try to fool fool you sometimes, okay. but it's also about uh, the data. So that's why, basically, if uh, I open your computer mm. and I copy past mm -hmm. what you're doing, like in one product, yeah, yeah, I really copy past in this moment on my computer. Mm -hmm. I will not have the same result because your account has more data. Yeah, yeah. This so is also uh, if I do the same settings, the same stuff, I will not have the same result. Yes, but it's not only this case, but it's also for another reason. Another reason is because you are going to pesca, come si dice? Pescare. Catch, fish. Uh, you are you are fishing. Uh, you are fishing in the big uh, uh, big sea, no? And also for that, like uh, they have more more catcher, and you have only one. And that I want to say. It's so okay. for so Google, uh, for privacy reasons, they did the Google sandbox, <laughs> which uh, means they they put all the audience in smaller pools, and uh, like Saib says, you you need to catch the the right pool. For that, I big fan of uh, if uh, our cost per conversion is higher, try to also duplicate it. Okay. Try to duplicate okay. it, uh, and after that, uh, try to w after that try to work on the creative, not in the beginning, I think. Okay, um, how often do you guys taste the creatives? Uh, like the you know chain, for example, Facebook. Um, it depends the geo. Yeah. But uh, let's say, okay, no, TikTok. You have to refresh like almost every day. Facebook. Three, four, five days. How about Google and YouTube? Google is very generally. Uh, what I want to say about uh, like uh, uh, what I talked be talk before about, about uh, demand gen campaigns. Uh, also for one week, uh, one one month, you can keep the same uh, creatives, and is is amazing. With a high budget. With a high budget also. Okay. And that, is, that's cool. that's a, that's a see like it's performing performing well, no? Wow. Because Google, uh, of course, Google want it, but. In the beginning, you don't want to give more more creatives, no? Okay. After after you understand it's converting, uh, I'm spending a lot of money. Mm -hmm. After that, I try. In the beginning, I try to squeeze the all my creatives. After that, I try to change the creative, or I try to duplicate the campaign with the new creatives. Okay. Okay. So when you change, when like let's say after one month, you mm, see that no, it's one decreasing. One month, three weeks. So uh, when I see. Uh, what you have to see when you are going to change the creatives, you have to see the impressions. Like uh, when you are going to create the imp uh, when you are going to create the audience, uh, the uh, the audience uh, showing in in the right side, uh, you you can see on the audience. Uh, like uh, Google suggests you like with this audience, you have like uh, between uh, uh, between uh, one to five million impressions uh, weekly. And if your creative in the last week uh, reach uh, one to Ooh, one to five million, uh, or like one to two million uh, uh, impressions per week uh, is meaning your time is to change. But for that, I suggest you like keep it for the long time and change it like uh, up after like when you reach like uh, uh, what I want to say like after seven, seven hundred, eight hundred impressions. Okay. 
That's yes. cool. It's depend on the campaigns, of course, because uh, everything is depend on the each cases. But uh, this is what what is the l uh, theory. Okay. Yeah. You you start with target CPA or maximize conversion? Always with uh, maximize conversions. I'm big Always. fans. Okay. Because I need to let uh, the Google algorithm to to play around with the audience, yeah, and yeah. Uh, if you put target CPA from the first, the pixel is not trained. He doesn't know what to what to search for. That's why I I tend to I like to have maximized. Okay, computers. so I have a question because uh, <coughs> let's say that DSL school say that you always have to start with target CPA. Now, my, my question is, uh, mm, let's say we start with maximize conversion. Mm. Let's say we have, uh, I don't know, one product, it's uh, $100 payout, okay, just to give it simple. Um, I start with maximize conversion. Many people are promoting that campaign. So, I start to convert at 150, 160, 200, 120, like always in lost. It's always random. Yeah. yeah. So for how long I need to keep it maximized conversion? Like, like y you will like turn off the campaigns? So from my experience, if it doesn't work after 10 days, I just kill it. But you... It's it's a little bit random to be honest because some campaigns can do very good after three four days, but most of the campaigns that I run in the past it takes like one week to ten days in order to to optimize. Okay, let's say that the average conversion after ten days it's uh, one twenty, so you're still in loss because the payout it's one hundred. Uh, let's say the they increase you ten dollar payout. Okay, now we have one hundred ten. You still can, like, if now you go to target CPA, it will not spend. In this case, I would just work on creatives. So once you, you get to, like, a certain um, loss, like 10, 20% loss, and you see that Google still cannot make it profitable, I will just uh, try to improve the creative part of the campaign like adding more videos or more banners because it's already optimizing the pixel getting conversions, but it just needs a little bit better creatives. Okay, okay. <laughs> when, so another thing, sorry, another thing on that is what you can do. Uh, yeah, of course, you, ha you have to, to give the control to the Google algo, but not 100%. Try to work on so also with the uh, inside of the campaign, you can uh, put the audience with the, try to work with the audience. Like if you see, uh, you receive the conversion only for the female. Only yeah. try, to, um, try to keep only the female and uh, the unknown and uh, the male. Okay. Yeah, just to narrow just down the, the yes, audience. Yes, and also the age. Try to work on that. Like uh, a lot of people don't care about this stuff because they, they don't want to control it because coming from Meta, no? But on Google, in the beginning, this part is very important. Okay. I think in the next, uh, next two, three years, it will be, it will be changed, but right now is more manually in the beginning. Okay. That cool. is my suggestion. Nice. And try to, like, if you start uh, abroad, uh, Try also to start with the interest, you know, like uh, if you're selling the supp supplements, try to sell, uh, try to put the interest related by the female who are searching for the, this type of, uh, this type of uh, Okay, uh, I, I, can I can target, let's say, also specific YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, also YouTube channels is, in America is working amazing in this stuff. Do you know why? Because America is a very big country, you know, you have a huge population. And not like in, uh, in the Italy, in Italy, yeah. like uh, without target uh, the, the channels, you can, you can reach these people, no? And for, the, for this is also another suggestion, like what you, what you say, target also uh, the YouTube channel and try to also make the audience uh, um, with, the, um, with the keywords also. Uh, keywords. Oh, okay. With the keywords. Okay. Like uh, what I say also before, you these keywords you can use it also on Google Display Network. Or you can use it also on YouTube, no? Okay. So uh, idea, your idea, Saib. Like I also approve it. It's not to go broad on Google. Uh, or yeah. start with the interest because Google it's a it's a beast that's way bigger than Meta. 
and uh, it takes too much time for it to optimize if you go broad. Yeah, yeah. For that is uh, uh, for that I want every time I want to say like uh, if you have a lot of money and you don't you want to test very quickly or like uh, keep it like 1k for one week uh, two weeks uh, and see how it's going if you have money of course if you don't want to waste the money uh, start with the with the custom intent audience uh, in market audience with the interest audience with the um, uh, with only targeting only some ages uh, some uh, um, uh, female or, m or male stuff like that also uh, i would suggest for the audience if you are new to Google and you want to learn it, just go to smaller countries. Like, I learned Google uh, for doing pin submits in Slovenia, for example. And I ended up in all the news there. My banners were everywhere because it's a country with three, four million people. And you don't need to spend like huge amount of budgets in order to test all these strategies. So I suggest you go on small geos. If you go straight to USA, you're gonna burn a lot of money until you learn everything. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> so about the VSL, just one last question. Um, so you're running campaigns. How long is the video? Uh, depends on the niche, uh, on what vertical are you promoting. For me, for example, for sweepstakes, which are kind of tension, you need to grab the attention very fast. It's 30 seconds are the best videos, but uh, for the neutral people, uh, I saw ads of like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah, two, three minutes. Yeah. 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 yeah storytelling now for that. Yeah, yeah, very storytelling. Yeah. All right. Guys, so thank you. Any questions from the public before we shut, the, uh, we close this and we go for a coffee break? No. Okay, then let's give a, a, an applause. Thank you very much, guys. Saib. Uh, Emil and also Valerio for the Thank insights. You very much.